this is progress so far on the boat dashboard. This is the uh, 7 inch screen that we're using. And it's a very simple bootstrap interface. And there are a couple of things that are working at the moment. The weather system is working. If I tap that, tap that, takes us into the live data which is coming off the board here and that's live temperature, live pressure and this over here is the last 12 hour temperatures. We can then look at things like, um, excuse me I'm trying to do this and do it at the same time, last three days for instance and that gives you a little diagram of that and if we want to look at the pressure we can look at the last six hours pressure and that gives you kind of that, that's the kind of the general idea anyway and there could be lots of different things being done. Um, then we go to the environment one. This is uh, what I've been working on recently. And as you can see at the moment, we're in boogie disco mode. And if I just want to turn those off for a second, I just click that. And as you can see, if I come back here, it's probably easier to see what's going on. There's um, a 12 volt, two sets of 12 volt LEDs that are driven by the UI. And this is, on, this is through the relays. So if I were to touch, for instance, the lockers, that would light up over there, turn it on, turn it off, on, off. And then there's another set of relay, another part of the relay system which is uh, I'm going to drive the engine bay with, which for instance could be this lot here. So this is that. Oh, on and off, it's a bit quite sensitive. And you could have them on at the same time. And also, so if we turn those off, so that Moving on through the touchscreen interface, um, you can see that these top road and this one drive the RGB setup. So this would be, for instance, a for downlighters uh, would be a dimmable white. So we turn that on, and you can see this strip here is driven. Now again, this is a five volt strip. We'd have to put in a separate power supply, and this is dimmable here with these little sliders here. So then we can dim this, and if we pull it down, you'll see these lights dim. And we can turn them off like that if we wanted to. And we'll just turn them on, dim, or we can just turn them off. If I want to have a, a pure red mode, I've programmed in a, a red version. So we turn that on, and that's quite dim. And we can have that high, and again, we can have that low. We'll turn that off. And if I've got another set, the aim is to have another set of lights which is downlighted in the galley, which are independent, and that would be a more bluey white light. And again, of course, that's dimmable as normal. Um, just to prove that the theory with the um, RGB drive driving works, I've got a disco version here. Just have to touch it first. Hang on, just turn it up. There we go. You've got disco version here. Now that's also got some speed options. And if I turn the speed up, it's a bit clunky this, but if I turn the speed up and then hit it again, we get a disco version. And that again is just driven via PHP through the back end server script. So very straightforward. So turn that off. And of course you can have all the uh, engine lights and locker lights working at all the same time. And so you can leave that environment and go back into, for instance, you can go back into the weather and that all works in the background. So then you just go back to dashboard, to environment and just turn these off like so and then turn that off there we go and that's pretty much it all driven so far by one and then I've got some two wire sensors here which are plumbed in and the uh, little yaks off see yak thing which we're gonna have a play with and that's all driven by the open plotter inside here so there we go